freeze and enhance. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most paused TV show moments. You can actually pinpoint the second when his heart rips in half. And now. Ah! For this list, we're taking a look at cameos, little details, and Easter eggs that required a keen eye and a remote to catch. Since some of these moments are key plot points, a spoiler alert is in order. Number 10. Starbucks Cup – Game of Thrones Game of Thrones had no shortage of controversial figures, but who knew former U.S. President George W. Bush was among them? It would appear that he met the same fate as Ned Stark, with his prosthetic head visibly impaled on a pike. HBO cut out his head once its presence became public knowledge, but this wasn't the last time they'd have to go back and edit an episode. Most people get bloody murdered. They stay that way. Following the Battle of Winterfell, the living celebrated with a feast, but we're really not sure how Starbucks ended up on the menu. While HBO digitally removed the coffee cup that had accidentally been left in a shot, this image will forever live online. To be fair, we'd all need a little caffeine after the long night. Number 9. Lil Sebastian – The Good Place It's no secret that The Good Place was created by Michael Schur, who also co-created Parks and Recreation. Is it possible that these two sitcoms exist within the same universe, however? This is just one of several Easter eggs that indicate so. Welcome to Pick a Pet Day. We have hundreds of beautiful animals for you to choose from. And when you do make your choice, your pet will bond to your soul forever. Various animals are up for grabs during a flashback to pick a pet day, including a mini horse in the background. As many astute viewers speculated, this wasn't just any mini horse, but the most beloved four-legged creature ever to gallop through Pawnee, Lil Sebastian. When Lil Sebastian passed away in 2011, there wasn't a dry eye in Indiana. Well, unless you were Ben. So what am I missing? What's the deal with this pony? He's not a pony, Ben. He's a mini horse. There's a big difference. Well, then why is he so famous? Does he... does he... Does he do something? What does he do? Nevertheless, Andy and company can take comfort in knowing that the miniature horse's soul continues to burn like 5,000 candles in the wind. Number 8. Conan Cameo – How I Met Your Mother At the end of Season 8, audiences finally met the titular mother. Since this moment had been built up for years, we all had to pause our televisions to soak up every detail about her. While she was hard to miss, only a select few noticed this cameo from Conan O'Brien. So Lily was betting against me and Robin. I just didn't know it. At McLaren's, a man can be seen talking with a woman by the entrance. Although his back is turned, he possesses a distinctive head of red hair. As Barney charges by, Conan briefly turns his head around. <laughs> Behind the scenes, Conan won a charity auction to appear on the show, turning down an offer for a more substantial role, as he thought it would be funny if his appearance was relegated to the background. Number 7. The Hairband – Stranger Things Sometimes the littlest of touches can add another layer of poignancy. In the first season of Stranger Things, Hopper reminisces about his daughter, who died at age 7 due to cancer. Before her head was shaven, Sarah used to wear a blue hairband. Right? Ooh, relax, relax. Honey, honey. After she passes away, Hopper continues to wear her hairband around his wrist, signifying how he's never let go of his grief. Throughout season two, Hopper takes Eleven under his wing and eventually becomes her adoptive father. At the snowball, we get to see Eleven dressed up with a full head of hair for the first time. You are beautiful. This reveal overshadows one small yet crucial detail. Hopper has seemingly passed on the blue band to his new daughter. Number six, comic cover, American Horror Story. American Horror Story is an anthology series, but each season is part of an interconnected universe. Although Twisty the Clown died during season 4's freak show, his infamy lives on through a comic book series that surfaces in season 7's cult. I got you something. You don't need to be especially observant to notice Twisty's sinister face on the cover. A pause button will come in handy, however, if you want to key in on several smaller details. In addition to Twisty, the comic also features images of Pepper, Jimmy, Darling, and Meep, three of the so-called freaks who occupied Fräulein Elsa's cabinet of curiosities. For those who are well-versed in the show's expanding lore, this multi-layered Easter egg likely put a smile on your face. It has a clown on it. Of course it does. Twisty's the title character. Who else are they going to put on the cover? Number 5. Heads on Display – The Walking Dead 
Yep, Pikes again. The Walking Dead is no stranger to killing off characters in horrific fashion, but the penultimate episode of Season 9 gave us 10 decapitations for the price of one. When Daryl and the rest of the group rescue Sadiq, they find that Alpha has established boundaries in the most gruesome way possible. On a hill resides 10 pikes, each of which comes complete with a severed head. One by one, it's gradually revealed that the beheaded ones are Alec, Addie, DJ, Enid, Frankie, Henry, Ozzy, Rodney, Tammy Rose, and Tara. I've seen Addie and Rodney. They're supposed to meet me here. We had to pause several times throughout this brutal scene, both to clarify who had died and to collect ourselves. Who says that the walkers are the greatest threat on this show? Number 4. Hidden Ghosts – The Haunting of Hill House Whereas so many modern horror stories rely on jump scares and shock value, The Haunting of Hill House slowly creeps up on its audience and frightens them on a subconscious level. Throughout its 10 episodes, you might have spotted a few ghostly figures hanging out behind the windows, kneeling under furniture, and emerging from darkness. Many of these ghosts blend right into the background, making it all the more unnerving when the audience becomes aware of their presence. Chances are you have to press the pause button more than a few times to confirm what you just saw. You don't want to enter a haunted house without a flashlight, and you definitely shouldn't binge this show without a remote on standby. Mom says that a, that a house is like a body, and that every house has eyes. Number three. Troy Answers the Door – Star Trek The Next Generation When an alien guest begins feeding off Deanna Troy's emotions like a psychic vampire, she starts acting out of character. This is exemplified when Troy answers the door to her quarters, looking like she's getting ready for a toga party. Well… We were supposed to finish the crew evaluation reports. By pressing pause, you'll notice that her dress is a bit, um, revealing for Starfleet. At first glance, the outfit doesn't seem especially risque. The longer you focus on the image, though, it becomes clear that the dress is totally see-through. We'd say that this is fan service, but we're not entirely sure that the showrunners or the censors realized just how skimpy Troy's ensemble actually was until after the fact. I'm not sure, and, and correct me if I'm wrong. But I think I see a nipple. Number 2. The Two Faces of Gus Fring – Breaking Bad Gus Fring was a wolf in sheep's clothing. Or maybe a wolf in chicken's clothing would be more accurate. The point is that he could seamlessly transition between being a pillar of the community and a ruthless meth kingpin. The only character arguably better at deceiving people is Walter White, who finally gets the best of Gus when he tricks him into visiting Hector. Walt has rigged Hector's wheelchair, which detonates before Gus can flee. After the door blows off, Gus emerges from the explosion, leading the audience to believe that he's miraculously survived. As the camera rotates, however, we see that Gus is missing half his face. Pausing on Gus's last stand, we're left with an image that perfectly encapsulates the character. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. I'm gonna miss you, Preppy. Party, the Beetlejuice soundtrack and NPR podcast. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Blast Door Map Lost Lost delivered one of the most compelling and intricate mysteries in the history of television. Diehard fans would meticulously study every episode in hopes of uncovering the secrets of the Dharma Initiative and the island. They were given a massive clue in Season 2 when Blacklights revealed a hidden diagram to Locke. Unfortunately for Locke, he can only glimpse at the map on the blast door before the lights turn back on. Viewers at home, however, were able to pause on this image and dissect its multi-layered messages. Of course, none of the map's equations or writings clearly spelt out any of the show's lingering questions. You think it was all just random? If anything, it just raised more questions. Nevertheless, the Blast Door map is forever paused in our memories. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.